on the wall. Are you hanging in the right spot? <laughs> Shai is back now to give us tips on where and how to hang a mirror the right way. Yes, so first thing is first. Always consider what the mirror is reflecting. There is nothing yes. worse than doubling up on something that you don't want to see, whether it's the toilet, whether right. it's the sofa, whether it's yes. whatever it is. So if you can hang it reflecting something that looks better, a plant, the outdoors, something, mm -hmm. uh, you're, you're in a much better off uh, a situation right off the bat. Totally. A piece of art that you love, a a something art. sculptural, your wallpaper, you got something it. nice. Something nice. Something nice. Okay. Now let's talk about positioning. So you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Oh. All Always. I'm gonna let you be the sun and okay. when you look down Trace so we have north yeah. south west and east south facing uh, light that comes in through the house is the strongest so this is where I am that's where you are you are the Sun okay if I'm holding my mirror here yeah you're gonna get that backlight behind your head that is not a good light. Right. Those are, I mean, we know that that's not a good light. That's you get not that what you halo want. kind of effect and you look very dark here. Yeah. So that's not what you want to do. So you want to make sure that I'm either going to move my mirror this way. You're staying where you are. Okay. I'm moving my mirror this way, but it's not facing southern exposure. Really important. Got it. Okay. Because you're oh. never going to look the way you should look in that mirror ever. Have you ever seen yourself with that? <laughs> yes. No. It's never going to work. <laughs> it's never going to work. Okay. All right. Let's talk a little bit about the areas. Uh, actually, we have a photo. We don't do. We? So yeah. let's talk a little bit about what you might want to think about when it comes to framing your mirrors. We have Correct. this gorgeous photo. Huge mirrors yes. um, in a space, and mm -hmm. they look so gorgeous just because of the way they've been. Framed. Yes, so actually, I like that you say the way that they've been framed. So this is a project that I did a couple years ago, and this was a mirror that goes wall to wall, side to side. Mm -hmm. Instead of actually looking for a mirror to be able to fit the area that we wanted, we went glass all the way through and actually had molding affixed right on the glass. Oh, beautiful. So it gives the illusion that there's actually a framed mirror there. That's cool. Yeah, it's a cool idea, yeah, right? It kind idea. of delineates, adds a little bit of uh, an extra texture to it, so it's really cool. Yes. Now Let's we get have here. all of these examples here as well. Yes. So the best and really, I mean, you know, if you have a console in your entry, the one place that you really do need to have a mirror, of course, is in your entryway. And this really is important because it creates a beautiful vignette. You know, there are people who, of course, will want to hang a piece of art above it mm -hmm. or, you know, maybe do something else. That said, you know, there has to be function and form in anything that we do in interior design. So having the function of a mirror when you are about to leave your house is a godsend, right? Yes. Because, you know, you gotta check yourself. Check the hair, check the right. lipstick, you gotta check right it, check you it get out. out. Check it out before you leave. So uh, you wanna make sure also that a mirror above a console is hanging at the height for you. Yes. So there are tips and, and rules and saying, you know, in North America, five, uh, five feet, seven inches, I think it is, should be the center point of a mirror. Okay. But that, of course, we're all different heights. Yes. So make sure it works for you. Yes, if you are a very tiny family, you make it work <laughs> for your tiny family. You oh, lower. You got it. Fireplaces. So this yes. is another popular spot that people like to hang their mirrors above. Mm -hmm. Remember again, what is it reflecting? But if it is reflecting something that's cool, the amount of space between the top of your fireplace and the bottom of your mirror should be five to six inches. Okay. Now that is a rule of thumb and the reason that we say that is because it leaves enough space for your accessories to be able to kind of place them properly but you could be doing really tall accessories or really short accessories so again gauge it based on you know how your house is and what it is that you're you're doing in your own space. For sure use that as a guide and absolutely. then you stay sort of outside of it or within absolutely. a bit. Absolutely rules depending. are meant to be broken guys. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's talk about tall mirrors, vertical mirrors versus horizontal mirrors. Yeah. If you have a space that has really beautiful tall ceilings, then you're really going to want to play to that. Mm -hmm. So if you hang a mirror vertically and you kind of look up, it draws your eye up and it really plays to that beautiful height that you have. Right. As opposed to if you have a very kind of standard, let's say, space, so seven to eight feet ceiling, yep. you want to make sure that you're hanging your mirrors horizontally because what that'll do is it'll play to the width rather than the height. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, good tip. Let's head over here for a sec. Okay, so you're going to show us actually what we need to know in terms of hanging yes. the mirror? Yes, yes. So I don't know about you, but I have been that person who in the middle of the night, all of a sudden I hear crash, oh, no. right? And we don't know what it is. And That's it's, scary, and you don't want to break a mirror. No, bad luck. if you're superstitious. Seven years of bad luck. Okay, so most times the most inexpensive way for manufacturers to do is to hang this wire on it. Yeah. And depending on the weight, it could be okay. The problem is obviously with weight restrictions, this is not the best idea. Okay. So let's say this is the wrong way to do it. One of the things you could do is really just remove the wire uh -huh. and leave the two hooks that you have here. 
On a round mirror, this is going to be so much easier because there's, you don't need to level it. It's round. Round mm -hmm. is round. That said, these are just a lot more sturdy. Yes. What you are going to have to do is you're going to have to have somebody make sure that you drill the holes in properly on the wall and that they're flush. That's right. But let's, you need two now. You need two now, exactly. But let's look at the different ways that you actually have to hang it. So I'm recommending, Trace, I'll give you one of those. These are yeah. just little kind of eye hooks. These are much better than a wire. Okay. These are going to, uh, and of course, these are weight rated. So you're going to want to make sure that you choose the one for the weight of the mirror that obviously that you're hanging. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to rectangular or square mirrors, this is the way to go. Okay. Much better, much more safe. Cool. Okay. Um, then of course there's these little hooks that a lot of us see and they have the little teeth in here. Yeah. The challenge with this is because it is just a one piece mm -hmm. and if we just by an inch or two move it one way or the other, the mirror is going to be crooked. And yeah. because you have these little kind of divots, uh, it's never going to hang properly. So so I'm going to recommend if you don't have to use this, don't do don't it. Don't use it. Don't okay. use it. Okay. And then of course there's the wire. Now I want to talk about this because this is really when it comes to uh, rectangular or square mirrors, my favorite. Okay. So there are many different people call this many different things. I call it a J rail. And the yeah. reason that's called a J rail is because if you look at it this way, it's almost like a J fits into one side to the oh, other. Okay. Yep. Now, what this does is it really gives you an even weight distribution on the wall and then along this one panel. So this is going to go on the wall. Yeah. This is going to go on the mirror. Oh, and then you just tuck it in. And then in. it just tucks in. That is so it would good. Work. Yes, it, just gonna tuck. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't drop your mirror. Um, so it would just tuck in, and this is really good because A, you can be this really weighty sturdy. with it. It's sturdy and it evenly distributes it. Very cool. Yeah. All right, who is the mirror or the picture hanger in your place? Is it you or is it Chaba? It is the man we hired to do it. <laughs> <laughs> clever way at the country home of celebrity hairstylist and city line expert Mark Anthony. So if you look behind us, you think that that's the lake behind us, but in fact, it's a really cool design feature that we came up with to mimic the lake on the other side. It's a mirror. And you know what? It's amazing because you've got the water all around you, which makes this a true island. Yes, it does. Now, this is a great tip for home because when you want to double up on a beautiful feature, mirror is a great way to do it. Now, in terms of colorway, of course, we wanted to bring the outdoors in, and we've done that in a couple ways. If you look up at the custom light feature, that's the water. Of course, the countertop is the shale, and the neutral color palette is the natural exterior of the home. You know what? It's great for entertaining, too, Shy, because usually guests will sit on the other side of the island, and they don't enjoy the view, but with the mirror here, they get the view of the beautiful water, and they can enjoy. It's one of my favorite spots. <laughs> nice shot. So Shai, as you know, this home is all about entertaining. Yep. And it was really important to bring the beautiful natural elements from outside in. I agree. And with this room in particular, it was really important to make sure it didn't feel disconnected. So we continued the same ceiling panels all the way through and ended it with this great textured wall, which, by the way, is a great opportunity to hide all your TV cables and cords. And so now moving out to our outdoor area, we just love this place. My wife and I and all of our friends, we entertain here till three, four in the morning, and it has just become the go-to place. Yeah, and I can definitely see why. Now this wraps around all the way to the pool, and the really cool feature about this home is that all the walls facing the water, of course, open up with these great sliding glass panels, which create a true interior, exterior experience.